Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought I would show you how I do a little bit of the glittering. Now in the last video I showed you these embellishments um, which I had made. Um, and these were just an example because I was using the Arteza glitter. Um, so I've had a few of you asking me how I made them. So I thought I'd just give you a quick tutorial today. Um, so what I've used, I've used some little punch circles. Um, I've got a couple of different sizes here. Now it doesn't really matter what size you use, so use whichever punch you've got because all as it is to do is just to pop the um, crepe paper around it. So it's just, just like, like a little base to stick it around. Um, now how I've made this, now I've got a big piece of um, crepe paper here and all I did I've just cut a little section off, say about an inch off here, so it looks like this. Okay. And then I've popped it through the sewing machine and I've just sewn down one edge. Now I found this was the easiest way to do it. Okay, so I've just popped it through, gathered it up and sewed it down. Now if you don't have a sewing machine, it doesn't matter because you can still do it. You can just take your little circle, um, pop this on, pop some glue down and then just gather it up like that and just stick it down just all the way around like a little flower. Just pop it around and glue it on okay but what I did I just sewed it and then all you've got to do is just stick it down with some glue so that's easy peasy and that's what it comes out with so I'm going to just do that I'm going to use some of this uh, Stamperia glue because it's really sticky really good so I just pop that round the outside like that now again I've just picked white um, crepe paper but again you can choose whichever color whatever you have and whatever sort of like embellishments you want to do now I've made these sort of Christmassy but again you don't have to you can put um, little hearts on there um, you can put a little I've got here one of my little alphabet um, cards so you can put that on there um, you can put all sorts of little bits on there some lovely little flowers um, all sorts of things you can put on the front depending on what you want to do so that just sticks around and I'm just going to cut this off like that and then I'm going to stick it just so it doesn't open up here just down there just stick that together to the back piece like that so then we've got a nice little round circle now look, it's a little bit bumpy here. Now we want to try and get this as round as possible. I hope you can see this. I've put a piece of tea stain paper underneath, so it's. I'm hoping it will um, not go sort of blurry, sort of out of focus. Now there we go. So that's all done. Now you can pop another piece over there like that to cover that up, depending on what you're going to pop on the front. Okay, so that's easy peasy right so that's bits done now what i want to show you is how i add the glitter i'm going to pop these pieces out of the way lots of glitter already i've also cut out some trees i'm going to glitter these as well so these were just done out of card now the die that i have here is one it's a really old one now this is from my sizzix my big sizzix machine um, which i've had for many many years um, and this is the pine tree so the code on this one is 38-0179 it's called tree and it says pine now you probably can't buy this you can probably buy them off ebay um, or you might still have one but you can get lots of die cuts but that's the one that i was using um, and i love it i think it's just a just a very basic tree and it's great so i'm going to pop these to the side now what I've done, let me just get a piece of a card here, I'm going to pop some glue on, I'm not going to use this glue, now I've lost my lid, there it is, I'm going to use some of this craft tacky glue, now this is the tonic one, um, so I'm going to pop that onto here, just so I can dip um, my little embellishment in it if I can get the glue out there we go just a little line like that okay 
happy. Now, I'm going to be using as well the Arteza glitter. So I've got three colours that I wanted to use. Now this is the Brilliant Silver. Okay, and then we've got the Iridescent Bronze. And then I've got this beautiful blue, which is the Spearmint Blue. And I think these colours are fab. Love them. Um, I'm going to pop those to the side. Now here, let's get the trees out of the way. Let me get a little bit of this as well to put the glitter on. So I'm going to use the silver. So I'm just going to tip some silver in here. Just like that. Doesn't matter how much you use. And then I'm going to take one of these and all I'm going to do is just dip it. Dip the ends in like this. Just easy peasy. Now you can use whatever glue you like. This one dries clear. So it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you've got a, a glue that dries clear, um, you can use that. I'm just going to stick this on all the way around. Like this. Just so you catch the edges. Like that. So you can see it's all around the edges. You can always go back and dip it in. Pop that to the side. And then all as we do is go round the edge like that and it just picks it up. And I think it's so quick, so easy. Just dip it in, flick it off like this. So easy peasy. So you can just get lots of them ready depending on what you want to do with them. I will do another tutorial on actually making some bits with them. So I'm just going to add a little bit more glue to that one, that bit, because I missed that piece there, like that. So look how pretty that is. I think it looks really, really, really pretty, like that. And again, I think they look sort of like very Victorian sort of um, embellishments. So I'm going to pop that to the side there. Now I'm going to now, because the silver is out, I'm going to use do one of the trees. Now I have cut the trees down on some of them, but I've left this bit on so I can actually hang on to that one while I, while I glitter it and glue it. So I'm going to take this again, I'm going to pop some glue on, oopsie daisy, squeeze some glue out, like this, just need to make the end of this one just a bit bigger I think. on get my brush I think I might just have another spare bit here so I don't make too much mess so we get the glue again use whichever glue you want to use as long as it dries clear just pop it over like this make sure you've got it all covered covered and then we want to I found the best way pop it over to one side you want to sprinkle it on you really need to sprinkle it on and dip it in just hold on to this I think it just comes out beautiful like that make sure you've got it all look at that absolutely gorgeous Dip. sprinkling it like that and I do have a piece of like vellum tracing paper which I'm going to pop over the top and just squash it down just like that just so it sticks nice And there we go, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pop that to the side. Now, what I've got as well, I cut this out. This is a piece of, let me get rid of these bits and pieces, these sticky bits. This is double-sided tape, so it's a, it's a sheet. Now, I can't remember where I got this from. Um, but what I did, I just popped it through the dye machine and cut out a tree. Now, I haven't done this one before. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to see which works best. 
and I think this will probably work quite well if I can get the end off like that I'm going to dip this one in seeing it's sticky like that see how that works Again, we want to sort of burnish it. Look at me, I'm going to be covered in glitter. Let's just take this and just make sure it's stuck in there nicely. And then you have a lovely glittery sticker. So you can stick this onto all your gifts if you wanted to. Nice shiny tree. Look at that. Perfect. That's lovely actually. I think that probably comes up just it looks a bit darker because it's got the um, backing on it. But there we go. Perfect. I'm going to pop those to one side. Let's get rid of this and pop the glitter back in the pot. And here. Nice glittery mess. But you can't have Christmas without glitter, can you? I know it's a little bit early yet, but I think it still looks really nice. So let's just shake some of this off so I haven't got too much mess everywhere. Okay, so those two are done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a um, brown one. So this is the iridescent bronze on this one. I'm going to pop this on the tree because I wanted to, wanted this one because I want to make the tag as well. Um, so let's get some more glue. I think I might actually use a different glue. I'm going to use this one because it was comes out a lot easier. Now this is just another tacky, another tacky glue. It's better. This one's just a slightly runnier. So I'm going to get my brush, get this and paint this on. Oops. So if you get all your little bits and pieces that you want to glue and paint, you can do all of that in one go. And then you won't end up with a big mess. You can get all your glittering done in, in one step. I'm going to shake the glitter on top of this one. Pop these bits over there. Like that. There we go. Just tap it down. Into the glue up if I can. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. I just love this brown, the bronze colour. It's really, really gorgeous. So you don't have to, sometimes you think of glitter and you think, oh my gosh, it's quite gaudy and bright. But if you pick the right colours, I think you can make things look really, really pretty. Let's pop this into here. So look at me, nice and sparkly. I'm going to pop that out of the way. Get rid of some of that glitter on here. Now to make the little embellishment, so I think these look so pretty around the edges. And I think that sort of bit along the bottom of a tag would look really nice as well. If you gathered up, where's my other bits and pieces here? If you had a tag and just pop that along the bottom of a tag, and glittered the bottom I think that would look really pretty so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this one here now I don't want it that big so what I'm going to do I'm going to just chop this piece off just like that so we've got a smaller tree there now I've got to be careful because it's still a little bit wet now I've got some cheesecloth which I want to pop underneath it 
here. Like this. And I just take that off. Pop a little bit of cheesecloth underneath. Now I think these would look really nice as well if you had numbers because you could use um, them as a advent calendar numbers I think would look quite nice. I just want to stick that on with a little bit of glue stick like that. Pop that on so which is the nice bit make sure you get a nice bit at the top nice bit just missed a tiny bit there which I might go back and do let's stick this on here like this so you can have silver and then you can have whatever color scheme as well that you have with your decorations if you wanted to hang these off a Christmas tree or have all your little tags or anything matching with your Christmas theme I think that looks really nice now I've got some white and I've also got some quite pink that would look really pretty wouldn't it pink and silver so I thought I might just do a little bow to pop at the bottom like that so I think pink and silver look so pretty make them a little bit smaller like that and pop that on there so pink and silver it sort of makes it a little bit sort of shabby doesn't it let's get the end and just chop that make it look a little bit tidier and stick that on there and then you've got this beautiful little embellishment like that looks really really pretty like that how cute is that and wouldn't that look lovely on a on somebody's birth, uh, birthday somebody's Christmas parcel that looks really really lovely so this one I'm going to make a tag but I'll have to do that in another video that has stuck on if you use um, double sided tape I think that the glitter sticks a lot better and I don't think you'll have so much coming off especially if you burnish it um, and make sure it's really in there properly I'm not quite sure whether I'll be able to do it a bit more with this I think this sticks it down and burnish it and I think it will stay on there a lot better don't think you'd have so much loose as I think you probably have quite a bit popping off there with a the loose glue but I still think that looks so so pretty flick off all the excess bits now I'm going to do another one with this one you can do a different color so what shall I do I'm gonna pop these to the side I'm going to use the blue put that on there get some glue do this one in blue so let's paint this one again you can use if you've got all your other die cuts which are different Christmas decorations Christmas shapes um, I'm sure I've got more but I haven't really got my Christmas things out I wasn't planning on doing Christmas decorations but I think they just look really pretty so that's that Put these to the side. I'm going to turn that one over. Let's sprinkle this with some blue. This is a very frosty one. So this looks pretty, doesn't it? Squash that down. And the glitter is just it's so fine it's very very soft there we go look at that how pretty is that so that's a really nice frosty one isn't it it's got a little bit off there 
there we go pop that to the side I'm going to dip this let me just cut these little bits off I'm going to dip this in the glue let's have a little bit more glue on here Just dip it in gently all the way around the edges just so you get the tip of it with glue on it. Just like that. So if any of you have got these glitters you know what I'm talking about because they are really really soft and really really beautiful colours. I think that's probably about right. Just dip it into the glitter. Gorgeous. And there we are. And a bit more there. Tap it off and look at that. How beautiful is that? Really, really pretty. Let's pop that over there. in the bin. Make sure you do up your lids when you um, do your glitter. Look at me, how pretty, how pretty and shiny. Okay, so look at that. That's stunning, isn't it? I just love it. I'm going to cut this off again here, just so it's a little bit smaller, just so it fits better. Now this one I'm going to add another little bit of um, cheesecloth onto here just to give it, just softens it up a little bit as well I think makes it a little bit more shabby on here so you could do lots of Christmas trees lots of little tags like this these would look nice as well actually if they were this one reminds me of sort of like pink little girl so instead of having a tree you could put um, I don't know a little pretty girly picture on there if you've got a newborn baby or anything like that it would be really really pretty a little teddy bear a little um, glittered teddy bear shape on there would look nice okay tap that off Pop a little bit of this on there, just like this, pop these on, like that, a little bit of glue on here, stick that on and I think I've got some white or oh, you could use actually silver. I've got white here. I think a little bit of silver, which I don't have to hand here. A little bit of silver ribbon would look really pretty on here, I think. Depends how shiny you want to go. Look, I think these look really lovely. So this is just seam binding. Little on there, and you've got some beautiful little embellishments, and super quick and super easy. So, you could have a little production line on here, but I think these look gorgeous. A little bit of lace and something would look quite nice around there. There we go, guys, quick, easy, and simple. So in the next one, I'm just going to actually make a few things. I'm going to make a little um, something to put this on. Um, so I will be back in the next video and show you what I've done. So there we go, guys. A few little bits and pieces. So you know how, they, how easy it is now to work with. Um, and I think the glitters are absolutely fabulous colours. All right, guys. Thanks you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you give it a go. Um, and I would love to see some pictures. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.